melody of different instruments. A new style of an ancient music composition. The sound of the step is eternity, and the history will never end. Watch the program, Sounds of the Great Step, on Kazakh TV. Ән деген менің өмірім, ән деген менің тағдырым. Шынды айтсам, ән деген менің ең үлкен ұраным. Үйткені осы әннің арқасында... Music is my life and my destiny. Music is my motto. Owing to the music, I achieved great prospects in my life. I was a Kazakh deputy of the Supreme Council four times, and also I was a member of the trade union community. I think I achieved them owing to the music. That's why song is my life and my fate. I will sing a song to the nations till the end of my life. I First of all, each singer should understand folk music and be able to sing folk compositions without folk singing. Singers are not able to occupy the hearts of listeners. That's why a person should love folk compositions. I really love Kazakh folk songs and listen to them with love. I also love Tatar songs. My father is Kazakh and my mother is Nogai. I was born from great love from two nationalities who gave me life. Time is like scales. Each time has its own scales. The 19th century was a wonderful and golden century for Kazakh people. Zabai, Magjan, Akan Siri, Birjan Sal, Kurmangazi were talented people born in this time. They presented unforgettable compositions to Kazakh literature and music and brought change. And those wonderful traditions were continued by Kazakh nightingales as Rosa Baglanova and Bibigul Tuligenova. Both of them are bright stars of one time. Bibigul is music and music is Bibigul, the name of the singer and music as a twin which should be pronounced together. Her singing composition, Gauchartaz, Nightingale, can be sung in one century by one singer. We are not able to listen to these Gauchartaz and Nightingale compositions without Bibigul, as she is a wonderful singer who has a Nightingale voice. My father's picture, he sang a song, You Are As A Swan On The Lake. I asked everyone about the song composition, but no people knew the song composition.
Қазақстан соғысында өзенде енді мен онда 10-11 жастағы баламын ғой. I was 10 to 11 years old during the Great Patriotic War. This time I was grown up already. Currently people who are 25 to 30 behave themselves as a child. My father in 1937 was arrested for repression. I helped my mother since I was 8 years old, carrying water, washing clothes, earning money for bread and food. I remember my first singing on the stage, it was at school. Those years I went to the section for talented people. What song did we sing there? There were songs about the patriotic war and about victory. We sung patriotic songs to inspire soldiers. It was our first singing on the stage of the Katisha composition. And we also sang compositions for tankers. A song which was sung by Shul Zinko, a blue scarf, we presented by our singing, and a little fire song was also sung by us. These compositions belong to that period. I was born in Semei. I do not compare one place to another. West, east or central of Kazakhstan is our homeland, and all lands of Kazakhstan are my motherland. I love my people. I sing everywhere my song compositions, Kaukhartaz and Nightingale. Currently I am not able to sing the Nightingale song as I have gotten older, but I can sing Kaukhartaz song everywhere. It is a beautiful Kazakh song composition. I think a singer who is not able to sing the songs as Gaukhartaz and Light Dark Girl are not singers. The piano is my friend in my second part of my life. It is my house and my world. I can't see anything. You see how I live? I live simple. It is enough for me, as the main wealth for me is my piano. I don't need anything else but my piano. I am able to play on it and repeat my songs. I remember my songs in my memory and learn new songs by heart. <laughs> I love folk compositions. First of all, I was taught by Kazakh singers as Jusipek Yelibekov, Jamal Omarova, Rabigai Yesim Janova, Rahia Koishbaeva, to sing Kazakh songs. I received their knowledge and education. Everybody was astonished by me and asked, Bibigul Ahmed Bek Tizi, how can you sing Kazakh folk compositions in one rhythm and classical compositions in another rhythm? I reply to them, you have to think. You think you're a classical singer and sing folk songs in one rhythm. It is not right, as folk compositions require another rhythm. It should be sung in another way. When singing folk compositions, you have the image of nature in front of your eyes. <laughs> Uh, 
халықты мен әлі күнге дейін танымайды. Мен қуанатыным қазіргі заманда осы енді мен енді қазір енді 76-ден 87-ге бара жатырмын. People know me and recognize me. Currently I'm 86 years old and I will turn 87 and I am happy. I can't walk a lot in the city. When I go to the village an old woman comes to me and says, "When you came to our village a long time ago we were kids. Do you remember you stayed in our house and you were our guest?" I tell them, I can't remember as it was in different villages and I was a guest in a lot of houses. As I did not say, I need to stay in a hotel or other things. I've never spoken in such a way to my nations. I only sing to my people and showed my smile. Sometimes people tell me, Bibigul Ahmed Kizi, your biography was difficult. Why did you not tell it? Why I should tell it and make others worry about me? I should bring happiness on the stage. I bring power and prosperity to people and also bring spiritual wealth. The stage is a sacred place. I have never told people that my fate is difficult. I have only one sorrow. I lost my father when I was seven years old. Since that moment, I lost my childhood. I will never forget it. An artistic person is exemplary, as Bibigul was an idol for a lot of girls. There were a lot of girls who became singers, and there are enough families who were married with her songs and listened to them. It is not a secret, as the whole Kazakh steppe listened to Bibigul's song compositions. She is a legendary person who was born for that song. She lives with music and breathes with music as well. It is the happiness of Bibigul Tuligenova and her song compositions. <laughs> 